just want to put you into my canvas of Drupad. You see, Drupad is not just a genre, not just a gayaki, not just a singing or an instrumental tradition. As you know, Drupad, I always say it is a system of Indian classical music, a complete system, uh, the springboard of Indian classical music. Why I say the springboard? Because it is from Drupad that all the genres have evolved taking the elements of Drupad, the finest elements from the Drupad. So it's a pity that we are marginalizing this beautiful tradition and uh, hankering for the popular traditions. But tradition is a tradition, is a tradition, and we have to respect and regard and uh, preserve because it is a living tradition. The tradition I come from, the Daga tradition, is, is before the Tansen. Tansen's guru, Swami Haridas Dagar, was a legendary Drupad singer. Uh, so I am the 20th generation of this lineage, trying to, still, still I am a student. I feel I'm a student. I learn a lot. I learn by teaching. I learn a lot by singing. So, Drupad for me is a journey. And it's a journey not with a purpose. It is purposeless. Singing for the joy of singing for the sake of singing, for the sake of creating the music. So that makes Drupad very special because it is a complete canvas where, why I say a complete canvas? Because it is only in Drupad that you find all the three important components of Indian music, the melody, the rhythm, and the lyrics all the three play a very important role. And we explore this, these three aspects to its fullest. And it is a lifelong process of growing with the sound, growing with the music. That makes Drupad very, very special and complete. So what you hear today in Indian music, the sita, the sarod, and also khayal and tumri, all evolved from Drupad. In the instrumental music, the alap is from the Drupad tradition. When it comes to the rhythm, there is khayalization. But the first part is the alap, jor, and jhala that is meticulously followed from the Drupad tradition. And today I'm going to begin with an extensive alap because alap is again is not just a part of the Drupad genre. Alap itself is a journey. It is a beautiful expre expression of, of life, of, of emotions, of what follows through the sound. And when I explore the raga, my Guruji used to say, don't just sing the raga. Describe it. So describing is very, very important. It's a dialogue with the raga. I'm not, I will not be just singing the raga. I'll have to enter into the raga, feel the beauty, and explore it, and have a dialogue. So this dialogue is very important and it is this dialogue that builds up the consonants, the inner consonants between all that you hear, the Tanpura, the, the Pakhavaj and me and you. You are equally important for me. The energy that I get from you will complement my raga. 
So this is very important for any Indian musical and nothing is composed, nothing is pre-planned. I just take off and you witness what I do. So, so this witnessing, this uh, enjoying is what I try to do. And unfortunately, today's world, we all want to run. And we don't know where we, are. we want to run. Speed. I feel sometimes very disappointed that we don't want silence. We don't want sublimity. We don't want tranquility. We just want to some drama. So this music is not for entertainment. I said this at the very outset, this is not music for entertainment. This is music for upasana, we say worship. It is for self-realization. It is exploring what is within you and what is beyond you. I don't say outside, I say what is beyond you. So it is this, the unseen, the unpredictable, that I will sing for you.